Get ready to be amazed by the cutting-edge technology of the U.S. Army's explosive FPV drones. These drones are equipped with advanced features that will leave you in awe. Join us as we explore the capabilities and impact of these drones in military operations. Watch as these high-tech machines demonstrate their power and precision. Don't miss out on this thrilling showcase of innovation and firepower from the U.S. Army. On this channel, we have closely studied the topic of FPV drones on several occasions. There is no doubt that these cheap but effective weapons are revolutionizing the modern battlefield. The conflict in Ukraine has served as a scenario where both Russian and Ukrainian forces use these drones, causing numerous casualties, possibly tens of thousands on both sides. It is not an exaggeration to say that the war in Ukraine is becoming a place of study for many armies around the world, and the United States has set its sights on FPV drones for combat uses. For those just starting in this topic, it is important to clarify what FPV drones are. These are not the same as military-grade drones like the expensive MQ-9 Reaper or Predator. FPV drones, first-person view, are small, economical drones designed for recreational purposes. They are equipped with cameras that allow for impressive aerial footage. The interesting thing about FPV drones is that they allow the operator to see in real time what the camera is recording through goggles, similar to a video game experience. Around 2016 or 2017, during a conflict in the Middle East, someone came up with the idea of attaching an explosive to one of these recreational drones and diving it into enemies. Since then, this type of drone has gained notoriety and has become a crucial element in various global conflicts, including cartel wars in Mexico, confrontations against terror groups and insurgents in the Middle East, Asia and Africa, and of course, the war in Ukraine that began in 2022. Now that we are familiar with the concept, Let's address the central topic, how the United States has started prioritizing the use of FPV drones. In recent years, both in terms of effective defense against them with the famous electronic warfare and in the development of specialized groups and units that will use them to attack the enemy. Previously, it was thought that the United States favored costly missiles, tanks, weapons, and aircraft, and super advanced technologies designed to be the most powerful army. To a certain extent, this is true. It is the country that spends the most on defense globally. However, with the development of the conflict in Ukraine, the U.S. military doctrine seems to be undergoing changes, realizing that more expensive does not always mean more effective, especially in such a complex battlefield. Americans have understood that a $500 to $800 drone, considering the explosive, can destroy an enemy tank valued at over a million dollars. You don't need to be a genius in defense or finance to understand the impressive cost benefit that FPV drones, or any type of drones, can offer on the modern battlefield. This adaptation by the United States did not come alone. It responds to the reality that their potential adversaries, such as Russia, North Korea, Iran, or China, could employ FPV drones in a conflict scenario against them. Russia has already demonstrated its capability in this area, likely positioning itself as the most advanced and sophisticated country in the production and use of these FPV drones, surpassing Ukraine by a factor of four in terms of the number of drones and pilots, many of whom operate on various fronts in the war in Ukraine. Currently, the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force have their own specialized units in the use of military-grade drones. Standout models include the MQ-9 Reaper, the MQ-1 Predator, the RQ-11 Raven, the RQ-7 Shadow, and even the advanced and enormous RQ-4 Global Hawk. Within these branches, there is consideration of training several soldiers in the use of FPV drones, which are significantly cheaper than the aforementioned models. Experts suggest that the best strategy is for the U.S. Army to take the initiative regarding FPV drones and grenade launching drones. The first recommended step is to establish a branch dedicated to drones alongside traditional branches like infantry, armor, and aviation. This new core of commercial drones would facilitate rapid adoption, the development of new strategies, and better talent management for soldiers who are outstanding in using FPV drones. Given the rapid evolution of modern warfare, small operational groups or individual unit experimentation in the style of special forces are no longer sufficient. The U.S. military requires a professional corps of FPV and reconnaissance drones integrated as a drone branch. FPV or grenade launching drones offer capabilities that go beyond the traditional functions of aviation, armor, or infantry units. These capabilities include swarm or individual attacks, destruction of valuable assets and weaponry, persistent surveillance, psychological operations, electronic warfare, autonomous operations, and much more. But this is not a suggestion for the United States. This is already happening at the levels of the U.S. Military High Command. Next year, two types of small quadcopter drones, the FFV and the Feather, could evolve from mere curiosities to formally funded army equipment. We are aggressively seeking to have both as record programs in fiscal year 2025, 
said Lieutenant Colonel Michael B.R., who manages small drone requirements within the U.S. Army's Maneuver Capabilities Development and Integration Directorate, known as DEVCOM. Infantry platoons would use first-person view, FPV drones, while armored units would use feather drones, Bradner said. The FPV program would be independent of the Army's Low Altitude Stalking and Strike Ordnance LASO program, which aims to equip Army units with loitering munitions. The LASO program will first test the AeroVironment Switchblade 600, which is several times the size of an FPV and designed to take out tanks. The Marine Corps is also experimenting with loitering munitions, with plans to deploy a squad-level weapon by 2027. In April 2024, the Marine Corps announced that three companies, AeroVironment, Andural Industries and Teledyne Fleer would compete for a potential $249 million contract. Some units have already started incorporating FPV and reconnaissance drones into their combat strategies. Recently, the 82nd Airborne Division used small drones to launch munitions during training, becoming one of the first U.S. Army units to do so. The 10th Special Forces Group, known as the Green Berets, demonstrated the use of FPV drones in a live exercise with Greek Special Operations Forces in Neoparamos, Greece, on March 9, 2024, as part of Exercise Trojan Footprint. This was one of the first glimpses of U.S. military units using FPV drones like those seen in the hands of Ukrainians. However, defending against enemy FPV and launching drones is also a crucial task. In this area, the United States has significantly advanced by establishing its Joint Counter Small Unmanned Aircraft University, an institution located in Fort Sill, Oklahoma, specifically dedicated to detecting, neutralizing, and recognizing enemy FPV and launching drones. This specialized school started its first class in October 2023 and continues to evolve and expand in a relatively new field. The experiences in Ukraine have shown the United States a likely future of warfare. The director of this school, Colonel Moshe Sauder, says, the pace of needs currently exceeds capacity, so we are trying to train as many people as possible and grow as quickly as possible to meet that need. At the Joint Counter Small Unmanned Aircraft University, soldiers are trained in the use of anti-drone weapons similar to rifles, which allow them to electronically shoot drones out of the sky in addition to employing other electronic warfare systems to combat them. Interestingly, they also use commercial drones with balloons attached to practice shooting at the drones, a practice that has proven challenging, as seen in Ukraine, where many resort to using shotguns for this task. Returning to the topic of FPV drone units in the United States, there is also a controversial discussion. What would be the physical and psychological requirements to turn a common soldier into an FPV drone operator? Could any enthusiastic gamer join? In Ukraine, FPV drone units often operate very close to the front line due to the range of the drones. If the US Army adopts similar tactics, one would expect the drone force to have higher physical levels than if they operated drones piloted remotely from thousands of kilometers away, such as the MQ-9 Reaper drones. The future will require a wide range of knowledge, including artificial intelligence programmers, cloud technicians, specialized mechanics, and more diversified system operators. It's not just about skilled gamers. This is an entire system of skills, attitudes, and knowledge. That's all for now. If you want to support the channel, consider acquiring a membership. You can see the available options by clicking the Join button located just below this video. Your support is completely optional, but greatly appreciated. That's all for now, and I wish you an excellent day.